What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the DFU Lecture Series. Today, we are going to talk about the new stuff that we have for Final Fantasy 16. Yes, we're going to be covering this game for a while, I'm sure. Uh, whether or not it permanently lives here on the DFU, that I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so you might see this transition to either another day or a different type of show, but we'll see. But let's go ahead and keep it going. For now, we are on the DFU, so let's represent that DFU um all right so there's been a lot of different uh rumors gripes complaints about 16 we got some information that put a lot of that to rest i know this has already been covered before it hasn't been covered by us yet so uh, a little late but i've been moving unfortunately well fortunately actually um <laughs> way better place but uh yeah no let's go ahead and jump into it so <clears throat> first thing first one of the biggest complaints that i constantly heard was that you did not have party members and Square Enix came out and said party members are going to be there but they're going to be AI controlled so we're going to probably look be looking more like um, Final Fantasy 7 uh, remake and stuff like that where they were kind of you can give them like little you know options da, da 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 I mean you could technically switch them and play them so that's a good question on whether or not we'll actually be able to do that and actually like play them in the fights probably would be my guess but we'll see um, but yeah, and then that they'll be rotating as story progresses, um, some of the other stuff that we have here. Now, I do want to say a lot of this stuff I have looked into and that this is a uh, pretty solid list. Some of the stuff might still be on that rumorous side, so just take some of it, you know, just a little bit, right? So some of the characters uh, might be playable for small segments of the story. So we might be able to play some other characters. Would be kind of be cool. I, I could see them doing something with like you know having to get into somewhere and you having to like be the dog or something like that. That'd be kind of fun. Um, it will not be open world, but feature a lot of areas. Four large areas are especially large. So a lot of people wonder if we're gonna have open world. It seems like it's gonna be open linear right so final fantasy 7 remake uh part one perfect example of this where it's like it's open midgar but like there's specific paths you need to go to get to where you're trying to go um <clears throat> that being said uh the game will feature a monster hunt system side quest hideouts and stuff like that so that's kind of cool if that actually is a thing that is kind of cool to be able to have a whole um, it's kind of like adding content, right? You know, you got your main story, you'll have your side quests and stuff like that, but to also have kind of like, I think they did a bounty ish type system in 12. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, where you went and hunted specific monsters, stuff like that, I'm pretty sure it's 12. Um, but yeah, you know, having something like that would be pretty cool to kind of expand it. Um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Um, the story is said to have progress to progress at the speed of a roller coaster. So it's supposed to be like you jump on, it's, it's it's a ride. I'm excited for it. I mean, once again, one of the biggest things, and I don't know if I've gotten if the, if that's one of the lines in here or not, but this is going to be the first time a main numbered title Final Fantasy is going to be not PG-13. I mean, we're getting a rated M for mature, which is great. They want to be able to tell the story the way want the, the way they want to be able to tell it. Super excited about that. <clears throat> but moving on. You can explore and take your time or beeline through the story, which, you know, obviously that's 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 normal. Um, there will be a skill tree. Um, it will have one for each icon, and you can respect to find and build what you want. Now, I did look further into that one. So it looks like there's not going to be penalties or costs or anything to like be able to completely rescale. So you can literally just constantly try out new ways, which is super smart in my opinion. Super smart because I hate it whenever games make you spend money to respec unless they're multiplayer. Like it makes sense because it adds that extra uh, grind, if you will, to be able to respec to where like in a single player game i'm not sure that grind is really necessary whenever it comes to just something as simple as a respec so i'm kind of excited about that to see how that works out but once again we'll see um some in fights are going to be varied there's going to be 3d shooter game version pro met wrestling match type version battlefield are also fully playable so what that says to me is that one the easy part is is that every single um summon battle is going to be different which is great 
And I think it's going to cater to that specific summon that you're fighting. So, like, whenever I hear something like a wrestling match, right, I think Titan. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm kind of excited to see what that's going to be like. Uh, once again, still not the biggest fan of the HUDs, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, Final Fantasy 16's themes are going to be around the clash and values and ideals and the bonds between people, which means that it's going to be a deep relationship game, which I'm excited about. Those normally make really good stories. Um, you will have friends on your journey and have important conversations with them. They will also fight alongside of you. I also wonder if there's going to be a karma type system as well. That would be pretty cool. Um, we'll have to wait and see. There is a buddy system where you can give them directions in battle. Potentially your dog slash wolf, Torgal. That's right. Torgal is the name of our dog. and Our dog slash wolf. And uh, super excited to you know uh, see that a little bit more. The game, it will be completed at launch. No movies. But there is reading material in the game if you want to learn more. So, I, I kind of go back and forth on this, right? Some people hate the model of Final Fantasy VII. And with that model being that maybe they're not a fan of VII, so when they see constantly VII stuff come out, they're just like, oh my god, this is dumb. Why are we still promoting this game? I don't hate the model of seven, though. I like the fact that it stretches out over multiple games. It stretches out over a movie. It stretches out over a book. I think Square Enix is by far one of the best storytellers, as far as especially when it comes to video games, actually, uh, of our time. And to be able to expand on those stories, even in the slightest, I think is a great thing. Um, but being able to consume an entire story in its setting, I also understand that's easier for people versus, you know, until I buckled down and really started getting like Final Fantasy VII is my overall favorite game. Like for a while there, I was stuck to like Final Fantasy and Legend of Zelda, da 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 da. But Final Fantasy VII, when I finally was like, all right, this is it. Like, I, I mean, I had to do research to find out, you know, every single piece, you know, on the way to a Smile. Uh, the Turk story, the kids are all right, um, before Crisis and stuff like that. Like, that was a whole, you know, journey. And some people just might not know how to do that or, you know, might not want to do that. <clears throat> Either way, it looks like all this is going to be relatively within this game. So take it how you will. Um, but yeah, Yoshi P says that fans told him the series was becoming static slash stale in their vision, which is why they want to, or which is why they want Final Fantasy 16 to be different. So yes, Yoshi P has talked about the fact that this is going to be kind of a relaunch of Final Fantasy, if you will, right? So we're getting back to our roots, and we're having somebody who has really good storytelling like background. I mean, look at what will happen with Final Fantasy 14, right? Um, one of the worst MMOs to ever come out, and now it's one of the most popular uh, after he got his hands on it. So I'm super excited for this game. I think he's going to do a great job. I think bringing Final Fantasy finally back to its roots for a little while is great. Once again, I do. Me saying that is not knocking another title, right? Like, I've got zero issues with the setting that 15 was in. I didn't play 15, and that's because I haven't gotten to it yet. I own it. I'm going to play it. I'm going to beat it 100% it, just like I am every Final Fantasy. But as I've been going back through my playthrough, and I'm about to restart that again because we're going to be doing it for you guys here on the channel, me and JoJo, I mean, I've loved everything that I've been doing all the way through the games, you know? So I don't have an issue with setting. Like once again, medieval area our era is my favorite. I love that. That is my ultimate favorite. But when you look at something like Seven, that's my favorite game. That's not medieval. So it's like I'm not knocking these other you know titles. I, I just understand like bringing it back to its core and then building up again. I mean, you're at 16. You know, we I, I personally don't want to see it stop here, obviously. But you know, you gotta sometimes revamp. And the best way to do this is start from the beginning. <clears throat> that being said, <clears throat> the Kingdom Hearts team helped in the combat and boss battles. And I do feel like we kind of saw that a little bit. So I, I feel like I saw a lot of Devil May Cry-ish type combat. Also along with, um, you know, a little bit of Final Fantasy VII remake kind of combat. I am stupid ecstatic for this combat system. I think it looks amazing. Once again, the only thing I don't like is the HUD. 
But you take that out of the picture, like, I love everything about this combat, how quick it is, how fluid it looks, the way the moves look like they combo together, giving you that option to learn how to do specific things the way that you want to do them, especially whenever it comes to the fact that you don't have to pay to respect. Like, there's a lot going on here. Um, Clive will fight icons in his human and icon forms. Seems to hint that we might control more than Ifrit. That would be cool. <clears throat> that would be cool. So far, all we've seen is him being Ifrit um and fighting other ones but it would be cool to be able to see how uh just just kind of like how things will change and that's actually led me to another okay we're gonna go off the rails here for a quick second what if clive is just ifrit like this whole thing has just been like a throwaway like what if clive wasn't given the phoenix power and he was instead given the Ifrit power, and he didn't know it until way later, and then he accidentally taps into it, and then ends up killing his brother. That would be nutty. That would be nutty. It's insane, but that would be pretty cool. Anyways, so, moving on. Moving on. We'll just leave that there. Moving on. Um, <clears throat> so, the place that we're going to be at has a, had a super technological civilization that collapsed 1,500 years ago. Um... And a lot of people think that this is going to be kind of like a Final Fantasy 16. It's kind of the same universe as Final Fantasy 12, which would kind of be cool. Um, but there will be ruins and stuff that show up, which we kind of saw in the pictures of, like, it looked like Clive being in, like, underground ruins and stuff. So that's going to be pretty cool. A little bit of uh, exploration, if you will. And, uh, you know, never knowing what you're going to find down there. Um, dominance transforming into icons comes with a sacrifice and serious risk, but you can't transform back into, or, but you can transform back into a human, which makes sense. It makes sense that there would be problems with, you know, their health, their body, da, 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 because they're going through an extreme transformation to transform into some of these icons. Like, I mean, imagine being just this normal guy and all of a sudden you're fucking Titan. Like Titan's huge, huge. So it makes sense that there's some kind of toll on their body. I wonder how far we'll get into that in the story if, um, like, there's a, one, if it's, like, kind of killing the people in the story, constantly doing it, and two, like, imagine if you had to continuously put points in, like, permanent health or something like that because, like, your permanent health kind of comes down every time you transform into an icon. That'd be nuts. <clears throat> Anyways, um... Clive will go through three stages of life, teenager, 20s, and 30s. That is awesome. We are literally going to be with this kid from start to finish. We're going to see his entire life, which is cool as shit. I'm excited about that. Once again, I kind of like his teenager-like feel. Well, it, it may, maybe it's his 20s. I think it's his teenager-type feel, but I like that look the best. But hey, going through his entire life, this will be the first time we actually get to do that with a Final Fantasy character, so that's kind of cool. <clears throat> um, story mode with accessories to slow down time. Auto combo and other buffs. Um, that's going to be you know interesting to see exactly what all that looks like. Um, action mode for action fans, but they can still use the accessories. However, the game will show that you can use the UI perks. So basically, I think they're kind of discuss. I think they're kind of talking about the difference between kind of like how Final Fantasy was like normal versus classic mode type deal, right? Um, you got you know a little bit more slower down, so you can kind of you know focus on what you want to do in order to kind of make a little bit more like classic versus you know just getting in there and hacking and slashing, which I will definitely be just getting in there and hacking and slashing. Ugh. Anyways, uh, action mode for action fans. We just talked about that, but they can still use accessories. Yep, we already talked about that one. Hard difficulty mode after beating the game, which makes sense. Uh, Seven remake just recently did this as well. So that makes sense. Um, some people like to, you know, go through the game multiple times. I'm sure I will as well. And going through on hard mode is, is, is a lot of fun to really test where you're at. Um, it will have a scoring system for beating stages, possibly like Devil May Cry. Boss fights are specific levels into the game, I wager, which is awesome. Because, well, you know what? It will be interesting to see because they, they never had it like that before. So it will be interesting to see uh how that looks how that works obviously there will be like achievements and stuff surrounded around that with you know getting you know perfect score on every single level da 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 um 95 of the second trailer was real time which is awesome uh photo mode will be included which makes sense um final fantasy 16 started with four people including heaven's ward 
but they worked on it until they decided on everything and then started full development. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm sorry. I, the way it was worded looked weird. Um, I am reading a post uh, of a guy who recaptured like all the stuff that they talked about on Reddit. If you hear fireworks going off or something like that, sorry. It's 4th of July. There's nothing I can do about it. <clears throat> um, yeah, happy 4th. Yoshi P says that he has to accept uh, Final Fantasy 14 1.0 and base Final Fantasy 15 hurt the series reputation. Oh, okay, yeah, he's accepted. Yeah, yeah, this is coming back to him saying that, that, that things have become static and stale, that he understands that Final Fantasy 14 1.0 and Final Fantasy 15 have hurt their reputation. Now, once again, 15 wasn't a terrible game from what I've heard. Once again, I haven't been able to play it, but it's just the way that things were done like with the DLC and the story and stuff like that. It, it really left the fans upset, which I can, I can completely understand. Um, says he saw people saying they won't ever watch Final Fantasy 16's trailer because Final Fantasy 15 was bad. That's dumb. Anybody who does stuff like that, that's just dumb, right? Like, it, it doesn't make sense to, like, let's say you're a fan of the entire series, right? And you have one bad game and you're just like, yeah, well, no, it's done. Like, that, that that's just, that, that, that's not an intelligent way to approach things. Um, if Final Fantasy 15 was your first game, game you ever played out of the Final Fantasy series, then, you know, maybe I guess I could give you some lean way, but it would also really be stupid to not go back and at least try some of the ones before it, especially since you know they're not chronological order, um, to just kind of see where things are at, you know? I mean, we have something like 7 Remake, once again, obviously it's on Fox, I'm a 7 fan, but it's like, it's a solid story, it's got a lot of really good action into it, I mean, it's, it, it's definitely new age, so it's these younger people who are getting into this, the Final Fantasy series, like I, th there's room for them to play. There's absolutely room for them to play. Um, and then he wants to make something different and amazing and show that Final Fantasy can be many things and guarantee the future of Final Fantasy to aim for new directions. And that's what we kind of talked about already. So that pretty much covers my list. Um, definitely excited for this game. Can't wait for it to come out. I am, um, I mean, man. I can't believe that we're getting Crisis Core at the end of this year and then jumping straight into um, Final Fantasy 16 and Summer and then 7 Rebirth and fucking Winter of Next Year. It's crazy. It blows my mind. Um, I'm super ecstatic about the timeline. I'm super ecstatic about the setup. It's going to be great. But we're going to go ahead and call it here. If you have anything you want to comment on, comment, 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 guys. Seriously. You guys, we had a great conversation these last couple of videos that I've done of this. Let's keep that conversation going. I'm loving talking with you guys about this. This has been exciting. Once again, Final Fantasy 16 is going to get covered here. Now that I moved into the new place, still got some unpacking to do, still got some setting up to do, but hopefully when everything's all nice and set up, I can be a little bit more on time with this stuff and we can kind of keep going. But throw everything down in the comment section below. You know I'm going to talk to you about it, so let's go ahead and have a conversation. I went over the entire list of all the new stuff that's been talked about, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. There's either some Final Fantasy 16 or Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2 or anything Final Fantasy re really related. I mean, I'm down to talk about, so there's specific things that you don't, don't think I'm covering, whether it's, you know, DLC for 14, da 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 that you want me to talk about. Let's have a conversation. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you next time.